Lake Brunner is one of our most important lakes for a whole lot of reasons, recreation, iwi values, it's a real centrepiece for our region, a lot of people use it. The water quality was actually good, but the trend was going downwards and the main problem was phosphorus, so we looked at that and said, well, we've got to do something about it, we want to stop that trend downwards. That's when we got in and we started talking to the community, the farmers, the landholders and all the other agencies like DOC and Fish and Game and iwi about what can we do to reverse this trend. We got some help from the Ministry for the Environment way back in the early 2000s. They helped with the initial round of farm plans, which we think were quite valuable for the farmers. They valued having a plan of attack because it was actually quite overwhelming for a lot of them. They, they knew they had to do stuff, but they had no idea where to start, you know. So having that plan was, was a good step in the right direction. We were able to do things gradually. Obviously it was quite daunting at the start. You thought a huge cost to uh, fence. At that stage there was no mention of planting so it was just really um, making sure that everyone fenced off their waterways and did crossings. So to have the plan sit down and slowly tick off everything over the years has been huge help. Um, financially obviously you could budget for it because each year you knew that okay you have to do A, B and C and obviously the effluent systems are in there as well. We were talking like 10 years and you're going oh well it's going to take ages but uh, uh, just no time at all it's, it's all come together. It's just been marvellous really. After that first set of farm plans, we went back and revisited it and worked out that once everybody knew what sort of things they should be looking for, whether it was planting, fencing or the bridging, they hadn't only done what they'd committed to in the first lot of farm plans, which was voluntary and you could say, well I can only afford to do this in the next five years so that's what I'll do. When they went back, because farmers understood what the hot points were and points of discharge, they'd actually done a lot more. And the lake's already well met its target that was set for it to reach in 2004. It actually has reached it about five years ahead of time. It's actually quite, quite like chalk and cheese from the beginning till now, how, how we all function and look at things. Back at the early stages, it was just a farmer problem, a dairy farmer problem, so we had to fix it. However, as the years have gone by, I think there's a real understanding now that everybody contributes to the effect on water quality. It's been a long process, you know, we've had the good, the bad and the ugly, and um, you know, we're at the good, and we should all be really, really proud of what we've achieved, because by God, there's been some long hours and some hard work, and yeah, it's good, but we've got an awesome result. And I think, yeah, as we move forward, it is just about, you know, the whole community taking ownership of our waterways and of our catchment and what goes on here.